YouTube. Listen up, I got a big package in the mail, all right? It's something that I can't pick up. I would do the normal, ah, and do it dramatically. You know what? Let me see if I could try. Hold on. Oh, God. I should have never did it. YouTube, I got something in the mail. Oh, my God. All right, you guys, let's just get into it and open it up. All right, YouTube, this is the shortcuts, and this is basically a traveling bag. When I was unboxing it, I had to go through a lot of trial and error to figure out how it works, and I pretty much got it down packed now. So basically, this is a suitcase for traveling, going out, doing house calls, via if you're a barber, cosmetologist, you do tattoos, whatever your profession is, this I feel like is the perfect tool to bring on those house call visits, wherever you're going. So first things first, it basically comes with a locking system to where you can open this up but we're not gonna go there first. What you gotta do is take this off right here. You got the release system, bow. That comes off. Then you have to go in here basically to get it to stand up. You open this right here, lift it up, take the straps off and basically open it up like this. Now, keep in mind that this one dangling right here, this needs to go in the back to where you lift it all the way up and it hooks on to this bar right here. There, you can turn it over and basically from this bar right here, I grab this bar with this lever right here and just tilt it over, boom, all right? Now you got it to stand. Now all you gotta do is open it up, boom. And we have it right here, the shortcut traveling case comes with a mirror these foam pieces right here are basically for you to modify in any type of way when you come up close to it you'll see it's like pixelated like a bunch of boxes to where you could cut it out and basically put your tools specifically the way your tools are shaped so any tool that you have will fit in here is basically customizable you got your open space right here this right here you could take the foam out if you want i don't know why you would especially if you have this but you could take it out if you want use it for something else, use it for storage space. But basically, this is it, man. This is a dope traveling case. You could close it up fast. Put this clip on, and now you got a traveling case. You can get this in the links in the description below. Other than that, this is the shortcut. Shout out to Shortcuts for sending this my way. Um, they got gold, black. I don't know uh, if they have any more colors, but it definitely comes in gold and black, all right? So make sure you hit the description below. Get yours today. I'm out. Peace. So as you should know, comb the hair out before actually cutting. You wanna make sure everything is neat. You don't wanna start cutting on a sloppy canvas. You wanna make sure everything is combed out, especially because it makes it easier for the hair to run into the teeth of the blade. So my client wanted a 1.5 on the top. So I went ahead and grabbed my one guard with the lever open. I'm using my Stylecraft Instinct. Listen to me when I tell you these clippers are hard, all right? I recommend them. You could go to barberplug.com to pick up yours today. Link will be in the description. Make sure you use my promo code 360GZ at checkout. But I'm just going with the grain of my client's pattern, making sure I get it down to the proper length. a high taper so i'm going to start off using my babyliss fx trimmers setting in my bald line now i'm going to add a little bend to it not too much 
because I don't want to bring this taper up too high, all right? So I'm just using the corners of my blades, getting that shape that I want down before I move on to the next step. Now going back with my Stylecraft clippers, I'm gonna go with the lever open and I'm gonna go up about a half inch, making sure I go over that guideline multiple times to ensure it's at that length. Notice how I'm using my corners the entire time, brushing down as I go. Now putting on the one guard with the lever fully open, I'm going up about a half inch, that same width, and I'm going up basically just setting my guideline, um, knowing that I'm not really gonna be able to see this guideline because it's, you know, I already got the one guard with the grain on top. So this guideline is gonna be very faint. So I'm basically just trying to get it to run smoothly onto the top. So next, I'm just gonna take baby steps working my way back down to blend everything else out. All I did was close the lever and now I'm softening up that middle line between the lever open and the one guard. Now that you soften the middle line up, you could go ahead and put on your zero guard with the lever fully closed and flick out the rest of the middle line. Now I'm using my corners the entire time. I don't want to use the full blade because I don't want to pay attention to two points at one time. Now the next thing you need to do is with the lever fully closed with no guard at all in a flick out motion flick out that bottom line now i know with his texture it's going to look a lot faint it's not going to be too noticeable but just go through the motions anyway because you want to get get everything to blend as much as possible Lastly, what you want to do is detail work, okay? What I like to do is I like to look in the mirror. The mirror shows me a different perspective on the blend that you can't see just head on. Also, I like to rest my eyes. I like to look away from the blend, come back, kind of just give my eyes a break from seeing that blurry blend, all right? So make sure you corner work, use the clipper as a thinning shear, get in between those areas where you see bulk and kind of disperse those hairs. As far as the back goes, I basically use the same exact steps. Now the only differences from the back from the front is that you have more room to work with so it's easier to set your guidelines. Now the first thing I'm thinking when attacking this area is I'm gonna start in the middle and go right at the area where it's thinning the most, all right? I'm gonna take it as high as I can and I'm gonna go to one end and go to the other end. The reason why I start in the middle first is because I wanna make sure that the lineup is straight, all right? From going to one end to the other, there's a greater chance that the lineup can get crooked. So basically what you're doing is you're just cutting off the middle man. You're just, you're starting off in the middle and basically going one side to the other side you can actually make sure things are symmetrical that way.
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in the full 360, and they come out looking like God did. You too. This is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 GZ and my Instagram is 360 GZ. But it's your boy 360 GZ, and I'm out of here.